Morning, Coodlers! We've got another nib review today, and we have just two left in the candy box of delicious nibs. So let's pop it open and take a look at what we've got. Looks like we've got two crow quills left, one brass and one not brass. We've got the Hunt 107, and that is what we're going to ink with to doodly do day. So I'm going to grab an inexpensive speedball nib holder and we're going to go ahead and get inking. And we are inking in the Denick Inktober 2016 sketchbook. I do like to caveat this by stating it is not my recommended. I'm just trying to use what I've got. And we are using a small cup of FW acrylic ink in Payne's Gray. It's the same ink we've been using for pretty much all of these reviews, like to keep it consistent. And I said this was a Hunt 107. So Inktober is running its course. It's almost hit the end. And I was wondering if you guys wanted me to keep doing these nip reviews into November. If you want to keep seeing them, let me know in the comments below. Now this is a crow quill pen. It's not going to have too much flex, but it can produce a super duper fine line. It is catching a bit in this Denix sketchbook. If it catches too much, I'm going to have to use my Strathmore Plate Bristol and do another test, which I prefer not to do. But I don't like writing any nib off without giving it a fair shot. And I do highly recommend Strathmore's Plate Bristol, their 500 series specifically for dip pen inking. It's got a very, very smooth surface and it's one of the least likely to catch your nib and cut the paper and cause bleeding and all these other things that can happen from using the wrong paper. Of course, I also, if you've got the means and you've got the interest, I always encourage you guys to experiment and do your research, see what other people are using and try stuff out for yourself. And this nib is fairly stiff, not a lot of flex to it. It's one of those crow quill nibs that like, I think you literally get it in every package of speedball, like any set of speedball nibs like the drawing set is going to have this nib. It's just a very common nib. And speedball is the one who distributes the hunt nibs. And I know my head gets in the video like a ridiculous amount of the time. And I told you guys, you guys need to let me know. You need to be like, hey, Becca, your head's in the shot. And that way I can move my head because nobody wants to see that. And I often do these nip reviews kind of first thing in the morning. So before I take my bath, but after I do my warm ups, not much to say about this. It's, um, I mean, it's uh, just kind of an unremarkable nib. Uh, I am getting some paper cutting, which is frustrating, but it is a sharp nib. Uh, it doesn't put down gobs of ink. It's pretty, it's pretty economical in terms of ink usage. So your ink's gonna dry fairly fast. This could be a good one. Let me make sure I'm on camera. Um, this could be a good one for comics because since it's not putting down a bunch of ink, you can, you know, actually do a page instead of doing like one panel every hour and a half and then letting it dry for 30 minutes while all that ink on the page takes forever to dry. I do find these crow quills that will only fit in the little speedball holder to be hard on my hand. I have early onset arthritis because, uh, you know, that's, uh, one of the 
one of the benefits of being a comic artist and drawing every single day and also being heavy handed is that I have arthritis. So please take care of yourself, kids. When your hand starts to hurt, maybe take a break for the evening. And there are ways you can make these little holders a little more comfortable. You can wrap them in medical tape. You can use a pencil grip to sort of bulk it out. You can wrap rubber rubber bands, rubber bands around the grip. You can put Sugru around the grip. I mean, there's a lot of ways to make this a more accessible pen holder. I actually prefer my Tachikawa pen holder, so I don't use too many of the nibs that will only fit in this holder. However, this isn't a bad nib. Um, it was a quick inker. That ink's gonna dry fairly quick because, I mean, with croquils, they don't actually put down so much ink that um, you're just swimming in like a lake of ink. And I'm gonna use an alcohol wipe just to remove the ink so I can put this away. All right, so I hope you found, oh, what am I doing? There we go, let me pull out a little bit. I hope you guys found this nib review to be helpful, to be useful, and to be informative. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If there is a nib I have not covered this year or last year, let me know that in the comments below. Um, if I have it, of course, I'll review it. And if I don't, I'll try to seek it out. If you've got some vintage nibs that you wanna see me use, uh, feel free to email me and we can work something out. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope this has inspired you. Actually, I just found an area I didn't ink, but I hope this has inspired you to pick up a nib and get inky. Um, it is something that takes some practice, but I believe in you. You've got this, you can do it. If you wanna learn how to ink with a nib, it is within your grasp. It is not impossible. Just because there's a learning curve does not mean it is not feasible and not doable. And plus nibs are super duper cheap. The holder is like a $7 investment, if that. The set actually, with the speedball sets, you can often get like a set of five nibs for $5 or $7, depending on if you catch it on sale or not. And uh, buying individual nibs, it's like one to $2 a piece. And the nicer ones, like the Browse nibs or the Japanese nibs like Miko, uh, Kuratake and Tachikawa, they last a real, oh, and Zebra, they last a really long time. I've been using the same Tachikawa G nib for five years now. So just because you're paying a little bit more for Japanese nibs doesn't make it not worthwhile. But a lot of these Western nibs, like the speedball nibs, are also well worth playing with. Just keep in mind they're a little more brittle and they're a little more prone to breaking. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.